Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. We're about to get into the video, but before I do, like, comment, subscribe, and if you want, please give me a follow on Twitter so I can hopefully get some pros on to do this with me. Uh, give me a follow on Twitch because I am going to be live more often after the semester is over for me. So, but overall, just like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm getting right into the intro. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. We're doing it on Abzan Midrange from Pro Tour Rivals of Exelon by Reed Duke. I'm excited to play this one. This was a super popular deck when, well, it wasn't popular. I would say this deck, you know, top aided in the Pro Tour Rivals of Exelon, which was very awesome. Just, you know, see Abzan. Sad things are no rhinos, which I am a little bit sad about. But during that time, the really big decks were Humans and Death Shadow. And looking at the list, as you can tell, I don't know if Humans was necessarily the best matchup in the whole world. I mean, there's a reason why the sideboard does have two Damnations, which is, like, probably the best card against Humans. And then, like, we do have Collective Brutalities, which are, like, you know, good against Burn. But as you can tell, it seems like, you know, those two decks are pretty good matchups for this deck right we have a bunch of removal spells for both decks liliana is typically a good card liliana the last hope is also pretty good against humans not so much against death shadow although it is a grindy card it is pretty decent overall maelstrom pulse also being super big against both decks they typically do run out like a few copies of the same thing and gurmag angler was a huge threat at the time so like as you can tell now spell bomb also in the main you can see there are like some some of these themes here on why Reed chose these certain options. So something cool to think about here is like what what today would we be changed about this deck? I actually really do like the Stony Silences. Maybe not three copies right now. I think three copies is a little bit overboard. I'd be on two. Obviously, Fulminator Mage is a little bit of a lackadaisical card these days. Now Spellbomb's still pretty good. I do like also Stony Silence is good against the uh the Belcher deck that's kind of going around, so that's pretty decent. But for the main deck, I think, you know, Prismac ending something that you might want to be looking at. I think Scavenger News and, like, a theme of, like, these mid-range decks has actually been very good. I think two copies will be pretty decent right now. Dark Confidant, eh, maybe, maybe not. Lingering Soul is a little questionable. Also, not running Lurus could be, like, something that you might want to think about. I do, I'm, I'm a little bit curious to see how Tracker, like, pans out and so, uh... Also, uh, Liliana the Last Hope, I think these are both pretty okay cards in the current meta, especially Liliana the Last Hope, good against Ragavan DRC, especially if you can turn off the Graveyard. Tarmogoyf, as we all know, is a pretty decent threat overall. I do really like this deck quite a bit, or th that card quite a bit. Mana base, something a little bit interesting is we do have three creature lands and no cycling lands, which is kind of interesting. I think we'd be running like a silent clearing or something. I have seen uh, KO Diamonds also running Urza Saga in their list, which is like, I don't love Urza Saga in something like this, especially without like a run in six. They were running what Witherbloom Command, which I thought was pretty interesting. But, you know, main deck looks pretty decently set up. No, no, uh, Rhinos, no Prismac ending, which are like the two big things. I mean, Rhinos is more of a meme, but I do love myself a Rhino. Sideboard, I'm kind of curious how the, what, we have three copies of Collective Brutality. I am not huge on that card. I think if you're running something like that, that, uh, what is it, Cling to Dust is better. I think it is more versatile. It's more of a card advantage. It's good against Control. Now, against maybe, what is it, Chalice, maybe not so much, but... You know, if you want something for burn too, it's also a pretty decent burn card. Fulminator Mage, I think eh, it might be okay right now. I'm not really certain. Tron's kind of on an uptick, but overall I'm excited to get into this throwback Thursday. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the first match. So we're getting into the first match here. And we're up against a Lurus deck. Ooh, doggy. This is a hand. No removal spells. But we are against Luris, and Goyf and Ooze and Confidant are all decent threats. I am a little bit afraid we'll get tempoed out this game, though, if we keep this hand. So the real question is, is this good enough? I think on the play, I'd keep it, but on the draw, I'm going to mulligan. All right, I think this is slightly better. I might just put the tree trop, tree trop, tree top back, but maybe it's okay to just go, like, Treetop on one, Confidant on two, Lily on three. Keep the spell bomb in the bag, in the bank. 
Maybe we maybe we can just like play the spell bomb out on one. No, nah, I'm gonna put back the forest. We'll see how it goes. Flooded strand. Okay, this is hammer. Ugh. Well. Well. That wasn't around during 2018, so tough start for the for the team. We might be able to come back here if they don't have, you know, oh no, oh no. Oh, that was the scary one, wasn't it? Okay, so what do we have as outs? I guess we need removal spells ASAP. And I guess we're slamming this Confidant on two here. Lingering Souls isn't a bad one. That actually can provide us a plethora of blockers. Think we can just fetch a swamp here. Play our confidant. We might have to jump block. We'll see what happens here. I think we're gonna take it. Sadly. Taking it's really bad though. For like multiple reasons. Like we're gonna be low here. Hmm. But there's always a chance they attack and just don't hammer and make an Urza Sagas token. I think that'd be incorrect, but you never know. Whatever. Let's take it. We need to draw removal spells. Kill us, opponent. Colossus Hammer. If, if they had two, we were dead anyways, but we'll see. This can chump block next turn. Alright, we're at six. Don't flip bad ones, Bob. Inquisition. Fatal Push. So we can go treetop, inquisition, fatal push here. It's not a bad turn. I don't really know what's in their hand that we would want to do that to. Ooh, they get shadow spear this turn. So yeah, we kind of need the fatal push here. So we'll we'll inquisition. Uh, what is this? May okay. Well, we'll take that one. We'll play our treat top. <sighs> I think we might be alive. They, oh, I didn't play around them getting a hammer though. So if they get a hammer, we're dead. I don't think there was really anything we could have done. I guess we can still block. I think getting a shadow sphere might be right for them. Now they do get hammer, so that's respectable. So we just push i guess the mem knight because i guess it doesn't really matter right i'd, I'd rather the mem knight be in the bend than the stoneforge mystic so we might as well as do it this way might as well grim flare all right well let's crack this spell bomb we're gonna have the lingering souls regardless here if we don't draw a removal spell Yeah, but there's no down ticking, so I guess we are fetch shocking playing the lingering souls here. Do we want green or black? Probably black. We're gonna be a little bit more choked on black this following turn. So if we find a fetch lands and or one of our basic lands here, we might be okay with Liliana. But we get to block block next turn. Let's say we find a fetch land, we get to go fetch lands. The last card in hand is the Sigarda's Aid, which doesn't matter. Sigarda's Aid. Okay, they got a Springleaf. They don't have a hammer in hand, so. All right, so we double trump block here. If we draw a land, we might be okay. Dark Confidant, well, I guess we're still not technically dead. We get to flash back the souls, play a Grim Flare. We might be able to stabilize this board. If we get to trade Grim Flare for Stoneforge Mystic, or for, um, uh, oh, okay, they got the Shadow Spear, we're dead here. We're dead, we're dead. We are dead, sad, sad, sad. Okay, what do we want here? I think we want the Stony Silences. Uh, what do we not want? Spell Bomb's pretty bad. Maelstrom Pulse is fine, I guess. Liliana of the Veil seems really bad. Almost Last Hope seems pretty okay. 
I want damnation because we don't really have a way to deal with a what's it called a sanctum fire. So I think that is our actual best option against sanctum fire. So I think we actually need to bring them in because I actually don't think we have another option. I guess we can block with Tarmogoyf, but that's not particularly where we want to be. I guess Liliana does answer that. Like, Scooze is kind of weak here, right? Kind of fine bending Scooze for two Lilies. Grimflare is fine because it does trample. We want all the removal spells. I think this is a fine sideboard plan. Lingering Souls is actually okay. It provides us quite a, quite a few uh, chump blockers, so it's pretty nice for us. Pretty nice for us. Definitely go first. Hopefully we have a decent hand. Uh, Tarmoy's pretty good. Liliana, the last hope's pretty decent as well. So is Dark Confidant. We don't have any sideboard cards, though. I'm gonna keep it. It's definitely, like, a little slow, but I think this hand's fine. We, we have options between Tarmogoyf and Dark Confidant on two. But, like, I think Liliana's pretty decent here. It, like, picks off most of their threats. We'll just pass a turn with the Marsh Flats. We'll get ourselves a uh, Godless Shrine here, more than likely. More than likely. Let's see what they do. Maybe... Maybe, just maybe, they don't have, like, a bunch of one-drops. Okay, planes. Spring leaf drum. It's fine with me. All right. That is the start we're looking for, right? Let's go get ourselves a godless shrine. I think we're going to slam Bob on, too. Second Bob is kind of sketch, but we'll, we'll slam Bob. We'll slam a Bobbert. We kind of want to draw into some of our sideboard tech here. Find herself that's, uh, what was it, Stony Silence would be very good here, stuff like that. Liliana, obviously, pretty decent card here. They don't really, it doesn't seem like they have any one drops, though. Like, they probably would have slammed an Esper Sentinel. Ginger Brute. Well, I'm wrong. Oh, well, there goes our last hope. There goes the last hope, because I, I highly doubt they let us slam last hope and uh, pick off their ginger brute here. Cigar is aid. Well, Stony's. Stony Silence is not a bad one. I think that's what we're playing. I don't think we are. I mean, Tracker's obviously awkward with Stony Silence here, correct? Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Maybe I should have just held back. Probably should have held back, right? I mean, we're we're literally dead to a hammer anyway if they have a land. So it's not like we're... Okay, they're buying Lurus. That feels very good for us. Okay, that feels super, super good. So I guess we're going to fetch out a Overgrown Tomb. We don't really need more white here. Where? Okay, Abrupt Decay is good. We will play ourselves a Tarmogoyf. Swing in with the Confidant. I think we're looking pretty decent here. Could just, like, bop the Cigar to Zade, but there's no real point. We're going to always do that later. Like, they have a Luris in hand. I don't really just want to play that out and see how that goes. <laughs> what is this, 2018? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I guess we're just, um... I guess we're just killing the Pure Steel Paladin. They get to draw a card. If they won, okay. They didn't even have it. Man. Talk about, like, no removal spells in our deck. Guess we're attacking here. They don't have a hammer, right? They would have cast it in response to the Abrupt Decay on the Pure Still, more than likely. Or they would have killed us with the Ink Moth Nexus. So it's not like we're playing around anything like that. Trade with the Bob, Delio. 
Count me in. Guess we want to like bluff that we have a kill spell. Like a fatal push or something. I mean, we're dead if they have a Colossus Hammer. They kind of have to go for it anyways, so I don't really know what the whole point in bluffing is. Probably was better just to play the treetop. It's not like they're, they can like really play around this for that long. It's not like playing Luris and Ginger Brute's that great. So, land. So I don't, they, they, they must have drawn that now. There's really nothing I can think about that they, yeah, okay, they concede. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Oh man, what do we want? <laughs> Derek is boosted, oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot, is that, who, who, who is that? I always forget who you are. I earned that one, thank you very much. Is it because I'm playing Abzan? <laughs> Abzan in the 20, or what, 2021? Let's see. Simon and yes, of course. All right, Tireless Tracker is probably worse than a Fulminator Mage, right? Probably just worse. We might honestly, I might just consider bringing in Collective Brutality as more removal spells. Like that obviously does not feel very good, but like that's kind of what we got going on here. It's probably better than these Liliana of the Veils. I really don't think these cards are very good. <laughs> All right, we're bringing in the Brutalities as a very bad removal spell, but I think we need removal spells in this matchup. Oh baby, this is a hand. This is a good looking hand. Boo! That's not the card I wanted to see. That is not the card I wanted to see. Uh, I guess we're gonna pass here. Guess we're passing. Maybe I should have played one of my tap lands, but I don't think so. Where's the Kitchen Finks in the sideboard? Well, I actually just copied this one from uh, Pro Tour Rival of Exelon. It was Reed Duke's list. I'm doing, it's from one of my series on uh, YouTube and I thought I'd stream it as well, just cause why not? But thought I would just get it out of the way. All right, I think we might just need to Fatal Push this and like they get to draw a card, like whatever. Like whatever, you get to draw a card, it's fine. No. Dark Confidants, welcome to the club, buddy. I think we're playing you. Maybe next turn we'll, we'll play him. I don't want to be able to hold up uh, pushes here. Okay, so we got kind of reward for not playing him. We would have just died. So uh, that would have been awkward. I guess the better question is, what's better in their deck, Sigarda's Aid or Colossus Hammer? I don't know. I guess we wouldn't have died this turn, but, you know, I don't even know. What is better? Do you all know what's better to take? Is it? I think it's better to take the Hammer, right, than the Aid? I mean, we can take both, but I kind of want to save my Inquisition for their Luris next turn. I guess, honestly, it's probably better to take the aid because we have a stony silence, right? That kind of makes sense to me. I'm gonna do that. I think that makes some sense. Like if we didn't have the, if we didn't have the stony silence, I think I would have played, or would have taken the hammer, but with stony silence, I think it makes more sense. So just buy Luris, say go, don't kill me, please. Okay, they play their they play their Heath, which they had. I thought they just drew that. Well, good reason we we did this one, right? Um, I mean, I still feel like we gotta kill this Pure Steel Paladin. I kind of don't want them drawing cards, but. Ooh, 
that's a shiny one. Uh, they have more fine, uh, especially because you have stone. Right? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I don't know. I feel like I have to kill this though. Do I? I guess I can wait. They don't really have a way of flashing it in. I guess what we could do is we could just go like confidant, fatal push this turn. Kind of like that. We'll fatal push it now. Guess there's no real no real point in waiting here. Mm, okay, sweet. Well, we we were thinking alike there. Thinking alike. Yeah. Agreed. All right, let's hope that this is just a Lurus turn. I think we kind of want to do that because I think we need to get ahead here, and I think Dark Confidant allows us to do that. But next turn, we're more than likely just going to go Stony Inquisition away their Lurus. Unless they drew something good. What is this? Prismatic ending? No! Boo! Boo you, opponent. Boo you. <sighs> well, so their hand is mystery card, whatever. Guess we're just playing out the Fulminator Mage. Don't think we're popping the Ink Moth Nexus right now. I kind of want to hold off the Stone Forge Mystic. We can always do that later. We might have to do it next turn, though, if they... They don't do anything. They don't do anything. Like, we kind of have to. At least it feels like we kind of have to. So, how do we get ahead here? Let's just draw, like, a uh, Goyf, uh, Confidants, uh, Lingering Souls. We do have that still, right? We don't have any veils. We do have last hopes though, which doesn't really do that much right now. Come on, just buy Lurisigo. That's really what we're looking for is a buy Lurisigo. We kind of, we, we really wanted that last turn, but they didn't do that. They, they really aren't uh, agreeing with us. We're just crack clearing by Lurisago. That's also fine with me. God damn it. Well, we're not dead. That's the good news. <laughs> the good news is we are alive, but that is a very annoying one. Oh, that's annoying. But uh, honestly, I feel like they might as well as buy Laris this turn. Like, there's no real point in even equipping here or here. You just kind of force the issue that's going to happen eventually. I mean, at least you do get your Ornithopter equipped, though, which is kind of nice. Dang it, they did it. I mean, it's probably right to do this, right? Just because you... I don't know. You do get the Ornithopter equipped, which is really nice. Oh, my God. They're drawing a card. That is bizarre. So I guess we do this now so they don't have metal craft. I mean if they drew if they drew something to equip, it's okay. Alright, we kinda we can't beat an equipped creature, so we kinda needed to do that then. Which is kinda weird. I feel like you either buy Luris or you don't. I don't think the in-between play there is that great. Uh yeah, well we'll say go. Feels weird. Feels weird that they did like did that, but whatever. Alright. Come on, Tarmogoyf. Come on. Tarmogoyf, really. That's like the best one. Uh, I guess we're getting a tomb here. Ooh, maybe we should have gotten another white. I don't know. Lingering Souls, Inquisition, I guess is fine. Uh, okay, we're taking both of those. Those are both very good threats. 
So, Sago, don't draw the uh, Urza Saga on me. Please. Please, thank you. Cigar is aid. Okay, that's a fine one. Tarmogoyf, hey -o. It's not a bad one. So, they have very good draws. How do you halfway buy Alluris? Uh, I don't know. Thoughtseize. Mm, that's not a good one. I think we are going to die. I think we are dead. To uh, Urza Saga. Uh, do it. We don't really have anything for it, so I think we are dead. I think we're dead. What's this? Ginger Brute? God damn it, Ginger Brute. <laughs> no! Um, what do we need? A, like, a Lingering Souls, maybe? Grim Flare? Alright, we're dead. Right? Yeah. Equip something with a hammer. I can't kill everything. Yeah. Well, that's a tough one to lose. But, ugh. It's okay. It's okay. So we're, we're getting into match number two. Rip. We're here for match number two, and we're looking at a, uh, I don't know if this is a good hand or a awful hand. Uh, we can't cast any of our spells except for Tireless Tracker, but I do love, mis do love myself a Tireless Tracker. I don't think we're going to keep that one, sadly. Uh, okay, this hand's fine. We'll just spin a lily. Yeah. Spin a lily. See what Echo Chicken's on. Soul Scar Mage? Oh, God. Ooh, doggy. If we're losing the hammer, what are we beating? I, that's a good question. I don't really know. The whole experiment is to see how bad 2018 decks are. That's really the whole point of this. All right, Pyrite Spellbomb, you've got it. Guess we can just F6. We don't really uh, have anything to do. Guess technically if they like lava dart us, we'd have something, but. All right, so how do we beat a Blood Moon precisely? Top decking a Abrupt Decay? Well, uh, F it, we'll shock. So we can cycle the spell bomb. Maybe they're afraid of an Abrupt Decay here. God, don't you dare. God, please, for the love of God, do not just slam a Blood Moon. Oh, thank God. Whew, we're good. We're fine. They played their land first, so it's not a... It is a light up the stage. Uh, do we want to do this now? Make them decide before they have information? Yeah, let's do that. What has my overall answer been? Honestly, the leaks haven't gone that bad, surprisingly. I thought that some of the leagues were going to go pretty horribly. But overall, the 2018 decks have been okay. It just, the, the main thing that I've noticed is sideboarding is a problem because you don't have, obviously, I mean, obviously you don't have, ooh, that's a good one. Obviously, you don't have the correct sideboard uh, cards for the right time. And that's just, like, kind of how it is, but... A Bedlam Reveler and a Mountain. I'm fine with this. Cool with me. There's like almost no way they get Delirium. Or not Delirium. I'm so used to like DRC or something. Uh, no way they really play this Bedlam Reveler next turn. So that's pretty good. Guess we're going to Shock and just play Lily. Oh, we don't even have to Shock. Actually, they've gone pretty well. I actually, I, I'm, I'm being honest. My Jun deck, the, or not my Jun deck, but the Jun deck from one of the pro tours from like 20, I don't know, 19 went 4-1. But the real, the real problem, like against Hammer, like if you want to beat Hammer with Abzan, you really can. But like our sideboard obviously is not really beat for that or really set up for that. So, and like we still didn't even do that bad. And against this deck, I think we're looking okay. Drawing a card. 
cool with me. We'll just discard a souls here. Or we could discard the spell bomb, but spell bomb's actually pretty good when we see uh, Bedlam Reveler. Next turn, we also just to go uh, scavenge news, gain one if we want. It's pretty fine. And like drawing the basic forest was kind of important, right? Like we can beat a Blood Moon now. It's like gonna be hard still, but we do have one of our basics on the battlefield. Abbot of Car Carol Keep after playing your one drop or after playing your land. Good. I guess it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's card advantage. Either way, it's fine. Maelstrom Pulse? Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. The better question is, do we want a Shock to play Nile Spellbomb? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maelstrom Pulse. Say go. I think we're looking pretty decent. Here we are. We're going to play this ooze gain two. Bolt. Cool with me. Count me in. Reckless impulse. I was about to say, I don't know why you'd hold that. So spike me, then we can play ourselves a... F oh, they're holding up a land here. What would that be for? Um, Let's see. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Kind of feel like I want to play the spell bomb to stop them from Bedlam Reveling, but I could just eat two instants here. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this thing costs what? Eight? Guess we should just eat one then. We'll eat up a light up the stage or something. It doesn't really matter. Just to like kind of stop them from getting that. If they bolt this, like it's okay. It's not amazing for us, but we just don't want them to Bedlam Reveler next turn. There's definitely an option that's the last card in their hand. Let's see what this is. Pain costs. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, I should have eaten something in response, right? Okay, the last card can't be, can't be, whatchamacallit, can't be Brother of and the land, so we're gonna just eat a creature, eat a Soul Scar Mage. They might kill us in response, no, ooh, that's good. Okay, just eat their creatures here. Okay, this this needs to go down. All right, I think we're we're winning this one pretty pretty handily. Uh, I guess we're honestly just gonna play the spell bomb here and pop it too because there's a chance their last card. I guess we could tick up, but if if our assumption is the last card, or I was supposed to say we could tick up with Liliana for some reason I thought Liliana was on the battlefield. It's not. Uh, if their assumption is it's that card, then we might as well just do this now. Because so I kind of feel like it's a Bedlam Reveler. All right. I think it was. I don't know why else they would concede. Or like wait for that long and then concede. So brutalities are good here. Liliana, the last hope is kind of pointless. Spellbomb's weird. I don't think it's really what we want. But stopping Bedlam Reveler is really important in this matchup. Tireless Tracker can head on out. Dark Conf against the Lava Dart deck is not particularly that strong. Maybe Damnation's like fine. It's a little slow though. Duress could honestly be like a, a reasonable card here. Dark Confidant, how do we feel? How do we feel? What do we think's better? Duress could be like honestly like a fine card as well. It's not the greatest, but it's like. It can snipe some things. Damnation's also one of the cards. It's like, it definitely could win us a game, but I don't know if it's better than Dark Confidant. I'm going to do like a one for one. I don't know. I think that's like okay. Spell Bomb's like fine. I think I'm fine with two of them. Like their graveyard's not completely irrelevant. All right, this is a pretty decent hand. No threats, but we can get there.
You should do the Phoenix deck. <laughs> well, Derek, part of the part of the problem with this whole series that I've noticed is that uh, a lot of cards are banned. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. I mean, I know, I know, I'm I'm assuming that's a joke, but uh, I don't, I'm not assuming. I, I'm like a hundred percent sure that's a joke. All right. Well, I guess we're taking. What are we taking here? We could just take the bolt. I kind of almost want to take like a light up the stage. Yeah, whatever. We can take a bolt. Next turn, we can take the other bolt or take one of the light up the stages. It kind of feels like the same thing, except it doesn't really give us a chance to like lock something out in their hands. Swift spear. Boo! Boo you, opponents. Boo you. All right. See, they're probably lighting it up. How bad is this? Pillage Lava Dart. Well, they can't do both, so there is a silver lining here. Second Swamp's pretty hype. Uh, I think we'll just play it. Yeah, let's just play it, whatever. Don't know what this punishes us for. Didn't even know there were two swamps in this deck, to be honest. To be quite frank, did not know that. Yeah, they're pillaging, which is fine. We'll just push, yield to the turn. Like we're like, okay here. So definitely, I don't know if we're in a good spot, but you know, here we are. Another fatal push, well. Not really what we're looking for. We might be, uh, ooh, turn off the auto yields. Let's uh, push that one. Uh, what are we getting here? Godless Shrine or Tomb? I'll get a Tomb. Lingering Souls, hello. Hello there. It's not a bad one. Let's see, what could be in their hand? One, two, three, four. So they have four. It could be a Basil Reveler again. Uh-oh. One. Ancestral Anger. That's in their deck? That's pretty hype. I actually like that a lot in their deck. It seems pretty interesting. Ooh, that's a good one. Liliana. We'll tick up, we'll discard the burden. All right, they concede. Well, sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are uh, we won match number two, so we'll uh, get to match number three here. But, uh, wow. I don't think that's typically that easy of a matchup, but sweet. All right, we're here for match number four, or number three, oopsies. Oh, our hand looks extremely slow. I'm going to keep it. They're not a companion deck, so maybe we... Uh, Maybe this hand's fine. Maybe we're up against control. Oh, baby. Is this good old control V? Oh, no. No, don't you dare Agavan me. No. Okay, that's, I guess, reasonable. I don't really know. God, the Star Confidant looks horrible. <laughs> Thank you. You hurried. Fatal push. That's a good one. Let's just do that now. I don't really feel like waiting with that one. Ugh. You paid me. Oh my god, they have one land. Oh my god, we drew a fatal push. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're top decking like a stud. Maybe we should have saved it. Probably not. God, play another DRC. Boo. Boo. Top kecked. Keck W. Oh no. Yes, slam a Merc Tide Regent. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, oh late. What the? What was that? Was that just like a freaking... What a what an ass. Just giving us the jukes. Yeah, the dude's stream sniping for sure. Ooh, that's a... 
One, two, three, four. They do have delirium. Goif. Yeah. We slam it. God, don't have a, don't have an unholy heat. Oh, they don't. Or, well, they, they, they could just wait. Dash monkey will block. Oh my god. Yes. What? Block? <laughs> Bolt? Deal. Count me in. <laughs> yes. Count me in. That That is the best deal I've ever seen in my life. That is, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will take that trade every day. God, we're looking pretty decent. I do think these Abzan and like old Junless, like old mid range decks are like freaking insane against this deck because, uh oh. They got a main deck EE? What the? <laughs> what? What is this baloney? Just because Liliana's a freaking beater against them. All right, Liliana, let's get it going. Liliana's got it going on. They discard a Murktide Regent. God, why didn't you... Oh, did they just F6 through their turn? Alright. I think we're actually going to hold back this treetop to village as a blocker against a Ragavan. Funnily enough. That's our goal in life. Archmage's Charm? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. That's not fair that they have a divination and we don't. No. Monkey? Okay. Well, I guess we're double down ticking here. Yield through the turn. Or we can just draw a removal spell, right? That would be cool. Yeah, we'll just draw a Fatal Push or an Abrupt Decay or a Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, we'll just draw a good one. A Tarmogoyf. Well, that's actually a pretty decent one. Um, I guess we're just double down ticking, right? We could honestly, like... No, I don't think not double down ticking is, like, right. Yeah, that just seems so wrong. So this doesn't have reach, right? No. No, we weren't lucky. <sighs> we weren't lucky, man. Don't have a spell pierce. God, thank God. <sighs> Jesus. If we got spell pierced, I'm leaving. <laughs> I would have left. I would have left. Ugh. I hate this card. It's so good. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Another one. Jeebus. Stop! Opponent, please! Give us mercy. Dude, let's just draw a land. The land would be pretty hype. Okay, they're gonna consider. Count me in. That is, like, literally the last thing I care about. Discard spell, land. Land's fine. Allows us to go goif, treetop, tick up. Get this game over with here. We're we're getting out, we're getting in there. We're getting in there. Treetop village for the win, please. So the last card is like unholy heat. Okay, if it, if it was like unholy heat merc tide, we could probably lose this game. I mean, we'd probably, yeah, no, we'd, like, more than definitely lose the game. God, crack that land. Oh, thank God. So good. Consider. All right, they're, like, digging, man. Digging, digging. Just play Murktide. Just play Murktide. Feels good. What are we looking in for our sideboard? Probably the spell bomb. Speak of the devil. Good things <laughs> Yeah, we got a we got a nice plummet in the sideboard. All right, that has to be a counter spell. Oh no, is this like double unholy heat on the goif? God, please do that. 
Oh, unholy heat on the, the lily. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we're swinging. We're swinging in there. Uh, crack the spell bomb. Ooh, lingering souls is a good one. All right, I think we're locked for this one. But let's see, another expressive. Third one, is our opponent's deck fully foiled out? What a what a god. Or goddess, I should say, you, know, you never know. What a, what a, what an absolute player. Foils are cheaper though. Yeah, but like the foils are ugly. Like imagine like getting all foils. I don't know, that just is kind of crazy to me. All right, we take that one down, feels good. So we definitely want Spell Bomb. Honestly, I think Duress is like fine. Probably same with Brutality. And Liliana, the last hope. Bad cards are Tracker. Scavenger News, I actually feel like Scavenger News is too slow here, but like it's also fine. Goifs are good. I think Grim Flare just sucks. I'm going to trim a treetop on the draw here. And I guess we can, tr honestly, these last hopes are pretty ambitious on the, on the draw as well. Pretty ambitious on the draw. Like, it can hit something, but on the play is a little bit more realistic, right? A little bit more realistic. Uh, I think this is a fine hand. We'll keep it. I mean, we only have four fatal pushes. It's not like we can mulligan for our one drop removal spells. So, having multiple removal spells in our hand, though, is a good sign. Yeah. Consider this is like another reason. Like, there's always a chance that they just, you know, don't have a turn one play. Inquisition. Unholy Heat, Counter Spell, and a Blood Moon. Well. Well, 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 then we could take the counter spell or the blood moon, both reasonable. Don't think we're taking the unholy heat. Um, I almost want to take the counter spell, but I think blood moon is the safer option here, to be honest. Because we the only problem, the only thing I'm afraid with taking Counterspell is if they top deck the other Counterspell, yeah, we just lose to a top deck Counterspell, which is all I'm kind of afraid of, but I, I'm going to take it. Honestly, if we want to play it really safe, what we can do is we can just shock in this over, Overgrown Tomb and just pass the turn and Abrupt Decay it in response, or like Flow to Green, Abrupt Decay it. So if like we're specifically afraid of a removal spell, or not a removal spell, a counter spell, that's what we can do. Which I think is a fine play. Well, I'm actually gonna play the Marsh Flats because it's I think it's a little bit less televised. It's a little bit less televised. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haven't seen that TV show? That's well, a good one. It's a great one, actually. All right, play the Blood Moon, please. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Guess we're getting a Temple Garden here. Yes. It was telemarketed. <laughs> No, no, I don't think so. Uh, I guess well, I'll just play Lily here. Get our swamp here, just in case they top deck another one. I think we just discard the tomb. What the? What the? No, it's not the Lily telegraphed. Did I say televised? I don't even know. Telegraphed. I think that's what I meant, but. I might have said televised. I don't even know what the heck I said now. One, two, three. I think it's the land. I don't know what the heck I said. So you're probably right. I think it's Overgrown Tomb. I think. Okay. 
I think I meant to say telegraphed, and I think I said televised. So I think you're correct. Oh, this is kind of annoying. Don't find a red source. No red source, please, opponent. God, just find basic island. That would be brutal for him. Or even no land. That's just, like, so rough. Oh, <laughs> Spire Bluff Canal. Oof. That's tough. That is tough. Spellbomb? Oh, doggy. Count me in. So I don't think we take Murktide or the uh, Unholy Heat here. Ooh, doggy. That's a good one. I think we're ticking up and discarding this Lily. Maybe it's better to just get, get rid of Maelstrom Pulse. Um, all right. Well, the only one that matters is Ragavan. So I guess we're taking that one. And I think in that case, I am going to discard the Lily. If they, like, three for one to get rid of Liliana, that's fine with me. I mean, they can't even get rid of the Lily, to be honest. All right, spell bomb you. Yes. Ooh, I should probably should have done that first. We draw a land, we get punished, right? But then that's so awkward, right? We'll hold it in hand. I don't think we have any four drops, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Did we sideboard out? We did sideboard out the tracker. God, opponents. That is not what I said. I said we don't want that one. Lingering Souls? Oh, actually, that's kind of awkward, right? I think you cast it, right? Yeah. Well, Maelstrom Pulse, and then... Oh, we can't flash it back, sadly. But Maelstrom Pulse looking fine, I guess. Uh, Tick up. Kind of funny that they did that, to be honest. All right, so I guess they got to attack Lily here, or else they're losing two lands. Which, maybe they don't care, but I think I would care. I guess they can attack us, right? Yeah, and then Unholy Heat the Lily, which, like, still feels pretty bad. Oh, wait, that doesn't do anything. That's fair, who does need lands? They probably just unholy heat this, right? No. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, well, I guess we I guess we you know, you're right. Like they don't need lands. So guess we're playing this. We can play everything off the top now. So DRC. Boo. Monkey. Monkey. Uh, let's just fetch ourselves our forests. We don't want to get Blood Moon here. Like, I don't think Blood Moon is going to matter at this point, but. Ugh. Ugh. Do we just double down tick? Or do we just alt to get rid of their creatures here? We could alt and, like, do DRC, DRC, treasure land versus everything else kind of like that like is this a fine pile they don't get delirium no nah, let's just do this they can't they, there's no way they're keeping this around right There's like no shot. Pfft. What? <laughs> no way. Wow. They kept the... That is insane to me. Yeah, I don't know. That's bizarre to me. Um, I guess we're ticking up, right? Like, okay, they have delirium now, so we have to, 
We have to find a, a removal spell before we lose this game. They're attacking Lily. Guess we block with one. Maybe that was bad. I don't even know. Like, I felt like that was fine, but, like, the more I see it, like, that still does kind of feel bad. Oof. Oof. That's a good one. Think we are... Are we down ticking here and racing? Or are we just up ticking? I think we're up ticking. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I felt like that was a fine play at the time, but maybe it wasn't. I, I really don't know. I felt like that was fine. But obviously I think I think our opponent made the right choice. And I just thought that was kind of insane, but that's in hindsight their choice was correct, right? Ooh, second one. They're attacking Lily again. I guess we are blocking yet again. So we're down ticking here and what's happening, I guess. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I guess they're getting rid of Ragaman, right? Yeah. Let's see what they do. Probably attacking us, right? Yeah. All right, so we are winning this race, and I don't really know what they could draw here. Yeah, I think we win this one pretty much no matter what. They need land, yeah, they they have one card too. I don't really know what could get them there. Yeah, sweet. So, what did we think about the 2018 deck? So I'm not sure if I'm going to show the whole league or not because our last two matches really weren't matches, and I don't know. I, they were kind of like, eh. We ended up going 2-3 with the, the deck overall, and I don't know. It felt pretty decent, honestly, the main deck. It felt very good. The sideboard was really where we struggled a lot, and so like our other two matchups were Primeval Titan, and I forgot the other one. I'm blanking on it right now, but like it was, oh god, what was it? It was... Um, it was like a Luris red black shadow deck, and like we, we definitely could tell that our sideboard really wasn't like tuned up for it, and that you know there are some things that we need to fix. But overall, the main deck seems pretty good. I actually think Abzan might be pretty decent right now. Liliana actually seems very good right now in this meta. I know that Luris is super good, and that you really want that card, but you might be able to recoup that card advantage with Liliana in the deck. I'm not actually certain though. You'd you'd have to, have to like play in tune with it, but this main deck looked pretty decent. I think the things I'd be fixing is I don't think we want Grim Flares, and I think Lingering Souls are bad. I think if you really wanted to, this could just be a green black deck. But if you really want that white splash being on Prismatic Ending and Rest in Pieces in the sideboard, and maybe like post sideboard when you bring in those Rest in Pieces, you take out the Tarmogoyfs and like you go with that and taking out the oozes, I think would be a kind of good sideboard juke. I think that Liliana of the, uh, of the Last Hope, it didn't really come up, but I do think this card's like, where is it? It's right here. This card didn't come up in our league, but I do think it's a fine card. We never actually cast it, but we are only playing one copy of it, so it's okay. Tireless Tracker did win us a game, uh, but not a match. This card, I actually love it. I think it's very good. I'm not sure if it's where you want to be, though. Maybe also running Assassin's Trophy for the current metagame against... Uh, Murktide Regent, although you're already pretty good against Murktide Regent, so like if you're not really like really focused on that, I know on the online meta it's really important because it's everywhere. The card is like that's like the most popular deck by a mile, I feel like. And if you really want that match to be like fully for you, you might want Assassin Trophy, but I don't know again. And other than that, the sideboard looks good. I, I really do like this deck quite a bit, and I hope you all enjoy the Abzan. I'm really trying to get someone to come on with me, uh, and if you guys would, I mean, I don't want to you know, shout out, but if you would follow my Twitter, that would actually help quite a bit, because I don't really want to just, like, message someone over Twitter with an account that has, like, I don't even know how many followers I have, but not very many, so if you would, appre I would appreciate it, you know, it is my streaming one, streaming slash, you know, YouTube, Twitter, so if you would 
hit a follow there as well. That'd be super duper appreciated. Obviously, if you'd like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube, that'd be awesome. If you want to check me out live on Twitch, I'm always live, you know, it's pretty, you know, pretty often, like not all the time. I am busy with school, but once school's over, I will be, uh, be live much more often. You know, I only have like a week left in the semester. So after that, I will be live more often and I'll be hopefully making more YouTube videos. So if you don't mind, again, give me some comments specifically on suggestions for Throwback Thursday. I really appreciate anything, honestly, even critiques, things you don't like. So hope you all have a good one. Thanks for watching.